consistently that they're, pro in my opinion, probably the strongest sub-region of SoCal. Um, and it goes to show right now, we got Nico and Larry here, winner semis finals. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of A18's um, status is based solely on reputation, personally. I think IE is definitely a, okay. sle a sleeper hit. Ooh, yeah, yeah. IE's really good, too. Yeah, it, they, 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 they've been memed on a lot. <laughs> so I think that when they finally got together, it was like, you know what, enough's enough. That I think overall, they, they really IE really came together. IE's probably overall better. Like, if there was a crew battle that was like, 10 man per, you know what I mean? I, I, th I think IE is like more well-rounded, uh -huh. but A18 is more top-heavy kind of thing. Yeah, like more higher peaks. In the right, right, right. Yeah, I get you, I get you. All right, but you know what? Larry and not elegant, uh, that's good. actually Nico, of course. Yeah, Larry's had it with this uh, Shulk. He is, <laughs> he is fighting top tier with super top tier. Yeah, let's we'll see how it goes down. I mean, I know that Hat is usually where Larry likes to pull out his secondaries, but you know, he can he can do it today too. Yeah, I mean to be fair, Nico does very well versus Larry's Wolf. Or just spaces in general. Yeah. Um, he does incredibly well versus Fox and mm -hmm. still does really well versus the wolf too. So I mean this this might be kind of testing the waters because we did see Larry bring out the Politana in winners quarters against uh, Luna's cloud. Um, he lost game one and switched the wolf, so maybe he's kinda of doing the same thing, like just game one I'm gonna go Paulu, test the waters. Yeah. I mean, hey, if, if Tri-State's doing it, uh, all Paul lose everywhere, then maybe that's what we need to do, too. Yeah, and I, I mean, Tri-State, a very successful region in their own right. Probably um, the most, like, the strongest region, in my opinion, in America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, in my opinion as well. But you know what? Already, even, it doesn't matter if he's a spacey, it doesn't matter if he's a goddess, he's going to get edge guarded either way. Yeah, he, uh, and Paul Tana isn't, like, super hard to edge guard, but that was a really good call out on teleport. He pretty much swung the fair as Larry was starting up the teleport. You have to stretch out pretty far to get that. So, I mean, Nico on the Shulk, you got to be really confident because Shulk's offstage is one of the, like, strongest things about him. Like, he has a bunch of other strengths too, but, man, you know, strong. That back air from Larry is going to send Nico's first stock back in. All right, what's the last trap going to be? Okay, I like that. Uses an oh. air, fades him out to think he can do something, doesn't quite be able to do it. And falling up there, he falls out of the second hit, though. But he still got a lot of damage out of it because of Buster Art. Yeah, that lead trap sequence netted him like 40 to 50 damage. And that was like the last hit of up there not connecting there. Like, yeah. imagine if it did mm -hmm. with the Buster Art. Yeah, he would have gotten positioning. It probably would have been a worse scenario. But you know what? He Even if it, when he fell out of it, he decided, okay, let me just go back to the ground, reset the situation. And he's still able to get the stock anyway. Yeah, smash the, Art up tilt, man. Yeah, the, the dash dance accompanied with that Smash Art. It's just so scary, right? You, you don't want to be next to him. Like, the forward smash, forward tilt. There, there's so many threats that Nico can throw out, especially with that smash art, when you have him in the corner and the ledge like that. And whoa, we almost got triple up air. What is this, Fox? This up tilt is just doing so much work. Larry trying to position himself in the air, trying to, you know, and, and Paul usually wants to fall on top of you with those forwarders, with the air, right. right? Just usually gets something started with these uh, falling aerials. Oh, that was a great empty hop. Actually got a turnaround, back air, not quite yet. Still catches him with the explosive flame. Wow, and you know, it is easier to kill someone off the top with the jump art. So he, I thought that explosive flame might have been it. Mm -hmm. And Nico just applying so much pressure on this ledge trap. Still has the stock and the shield art packing in the back. Okay, I like the idea. If you use the explosive flame to keep him at bay rather than like trying to perfectly uh, time a two frame. So it gives Nico a little bit less advantage there. How's he going to get through? Okay, just an early recovery. Comes back around. Yeah, he gets the tech there, but uh, Larry just going right into the second slice. His back throw is going to do it. No shield art going to save you from that, I, I would hope. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the smash art. Going to inject himself with some rage real quick. I think he kind of let himself get grabbed there just so that <laughs> you could hit him out of hit stun. Well, let's see. What's the other left track going to be? <laughs> okay, the back here probably, yeah, it's going to do it. Yeah, Nico very confident so far. You saw yeah. the last two sequences. He just stood completely still, let himself get hit, and you know what? It just gave him an opportunity to come back. Really good positioning on the ledge trap, too. He's turned around. He can catch the ledge roll. If he jumps, Nico has a very capable anti-air, probably one of the best in the game yes. in terms of just, like, how big it is. It's disjointed as well. And it's just it's so hard. Larry did hit him with the get-up attack, but just you're on stage. Congratulations. Now you're in the corner versus my disjoints. And Nico closing that out, and we're going to see the switch to the wolf here. All right, let's see here. Honest City is the pick. Pretty big stage here. Um, the platform layouts, very, very unique. I, I, I You know it would be great if the platform layout, like, stayed the same? Oh, yeah. Like, in terms of, like, if hazards were turned off, it just, like, stayed one platform layout. Right, like, right. So, so good. <laughs> you wouldn't have, like, you know, five final destination stages. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see, though. 
what the last sequence going to be. Okay, just that fair. Yeah, those sweeping arcs cover a lot of space. Able to just keep him at bay, and yep, he's able to go ahead and get that grab. Yeah, and you, you can just see how much more comfortable Larry is on the wolf. Of course, if you guys didn't know, it, pretty much Larry, that's his best game. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. he's been rocking the wolf, not like at the very, very beginning of the game, but pretty early on in the game. Right. He was going a little bit of Fox, but pretty much kind of put the Fox away and exclusively wolf. And then now we, we, we're seeing him mess around with the Palutena a little bit. I, I know he started picking up maybe like a week or two ago, but not too much time on the Palu. Back row? That would do it, yeah. Even with Smash Art, not yeah. enough time to switch around. Yeah, and you, you, you have to wait till after the throw for you to switch, so it's just... The grab should do it, especially with that smash art right. right by the edge of the stage there. And Town of City not having the most gracious blast zones in terms of horizontal. Right. Oh, just trying to get around. Ooh. It just can't get around the Where sword. It's like flying, flying whack a bolt. Yeah, so it's just like, like you try to go up, drift it back. Nico just had it all covered, ready to roll. But, I mean, at what cost? It's 79% here. Ooh, Man, back air. That, oh. that fair has been doing so much work. Yeah. Larry definitely wanted back air there. That's... Nah, wow. the drift, just enough. Just like, oh wow, that, okay, it is 150. I, I was thinking maybe, because Town does have pretty high ceilings, but no shield art there. And yeah, Larry just doing an incredible job not <laughs> letting Nico play the game for like a good 30 seconds or more. Man, he's still doing it. All right, this time around, Nico has an opportunity to get something. Oh, just completely negates that Nair. It'll come around, air to air, beats him out with Bear. Well, this is looking like a very, very convincing game number two here for Larry to switch the Wolf on his counter pick as well. Town and City doing incredible and just waiting out the smash art. I mean, he just burned more than half the meter just waiting there because yeah. Nico didn't want to commit to an option to get him off the ledge, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and I like these recovery mix-ups, you know, either going immediately back to stage or just waiting a bit, trying to go back to the ledge. Just really making it hard for Nico to try and exploit that recovery, uh, right. especially with the range that Shulk has can definitely intercept uh, either like Firewolf or the, the side B very easily. Yeah. Right there, Larry fading back. Wow, what a great fade back. Just enough to get past that forwarder, and then he gets the spacing, gets the fade back on the back air, and very, very convincing game number two coming up from Larry. Yeah, definitely. I think it was good to play out the Palu, just see, okay, if with this two-week character, how am I going to do? He yeah. went down the last stocks, and it was like, okay, if I go on my main media, it'll actually turn out well, and it did. So it was a, it was a good way to get his feet in the water, see what happens. Yeah, especially when you're here uh, in winter semis. For everyone that doesn't know, at MSM we do top four, best of five. So anything semis and higher, best yeah. of five pretty much. All right, moving on to FD. And I think the point out too on, I, I think that's a really good strategy for just anyone that is competing or you, you want to test out a new character. Going to your local and just being like, you know what, game one, I'm going X character. And then after that you can go whatever, but that's like almost, it, it's to the point where you're like forcing yourself to try out the character kind yes. of thing, you know what I mean? Obviously at like a big major or something that you really, really want to do well at, then you just maybe probably go your main right off the bat. Mm -hmm. But, you know, locals is a very big part of learning for a lot of these players, right, and experimenting. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they happen every week, so if you don't do well at it, then you can, then you know next week. Don't yeah. go this character <laughs> if yeah, you exactly. really hate it that much. But here we go. Both of them kind of just going in on each other, and there we go. We finally see that first interception on the recovery. Still not enough to do it, though. He kept his jump the whole time. Larry had the fast fall to get under that back here, the way Nico positioned it. So very incredible micro spacing and just, like, utilizing those very, you know, minute mechanics. And that that's what you're going to see with a lot of these top players, man. Did he catch the double jump? With the jump bar, he should be fine, yeah. But the reversal, oh, the reversal <laughs> on the reversal, though. Yeah. <laughs> Try to bring it back around, but you know that, even though it got nerfed, that hitbox is still decently big, so you got to yeah. be careful about that. Yeah, I, I feel like Larry just stalled out as much as he could. There's no double jump here, the early. Yeah. Gonna get covered there. And yeah, I just feel like on that first stock, Nico kind of pulled the trigger on that down here a little too early, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead exactly. of just like trying to react to it. Down. Oh, oh I, I thought that was going to be like the big, the money combo, yeah, the yeah. down throw to four tilt. Not quite though. He was able to come out with shield in time. Yeah, maybe he could have gone for dash attack instead. I've seen down throw and a dash attack with yeah. Bustard do like a ton of damage. It's, it's crazy what this character can do, and like it's just nuts because we've seen it so much, and it, it's still always a treat to watch you go play Shulk, right? Yeah. Okay, it goes for the high recovery again. 
He's got to be careful. I mean, he's been going pretty high uh, most of these times when he's come back to stage. Gets his parry in, keeps his positioning. Ah, but that startup on that back are not going to work. Still able to keep that positioning. Come back around, four tilt. Jump art? Does he need it? He oh. doesn't even need the jump art. Wow. If he if he had nared maybe instead of trying to go for the dare, like I understand why, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a in the moment situation. And even though Nico isn't like doesn't have, he's a little behind on this uh, on this game. I do really like the counter pick, and just like that, Nico's just gonna bring it right back to even stock. But uh, final destination very focal pointed on ledge trapping. It's right. A very uh, ledge trapping stage because ledge jump is weaker on the stage. There's no platform to reset on. All you know. So, I mean, what have we seen Nico really, like, push with this character just against Larry this whole entire set, or just in general? It's that Shulk ledge trapping with the Buster Art, with the with the Smash Art. It, it, it's so powerful. Right. All right, turn back to neutral. Then he immediately tries to go back in. He's got a couple options here. Oh, but the wow. jump art, yeah. That, <laughs> I mean, even, even if there's no platforms, jump art will still <laughs> buff your recovery. So. You saw how high you went? It's just like, yeah. dang, you, you ain't hitting me with nothing. <laughs> I'm like, out of here. It's like, damn, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, I just got to watch you fly. Hey, Nico kind of coming in with these nares uh, very aggressively. And nary, or <laughs> nary. <laughs> nary. He's being very nary today. <laughs> <laughs> Larry is doing an incredible job of fading back. But wait, the edge guard to finish it off. Do you have the jump? Yes, you do, but oh, he barely clips on the ledge there. Could have been that opening Nico needed to uh, get this 2-1 uh, you know, lead in the set. Right. Okay, air to air, beats him out with Nair. Ah! Oh, but the bear's not going to be able to beat that out. Yeah, that's the that's sometimes the bane, and he just does it. Run yep. off forward air. Going to keep himself in the game here. We're going 2-1, Nico's favorite. Yeah, very good counter pick coming out from Nico. And just that drop zone fair was so nice. Larry... Usually in that position, um, when Nico put him in that position previously in that game, you know, he, he would kind of wait out what Nico would do, right? Try to not just panic jump right off the bat or uh -huh. panic air dodge. Because yeah. so, if you do any of those options, you could be put in a worse situation after and have exactly. less resources. Yes. So mm -hmm. Nico just with a straight up hard read there, very, very nice drop zone. And Town of City. So no DSR, since our stage is so small, right? Yeah. Just got the two bands. So. Um, Nico just going to stick with the same two bands he had earlier, and we're going to be back on the last stage that Larry actually won on. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was such a good bait on the shield art. Just hits him with the down tilt and disengages. Really yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. He did that the last time too. The, like the down tilt came out and he got a trip instead of going in with another combo. He saw the shield art came out, so he faded back and then waited for like the ledge option after, or the get up option after that, and he was able to continue with another combo and waste shield art at the same time. Yeah. Another drop zone, Larry. Not gonna get caught up by that. I like the directional air dodge. Um, that's really nice because you don't. Re Whoa, you're just dead. Yeah. And it's it's crazy because Shulk fair. Like I want to call it a two frame, but Nico could have possibly just hit him before he got to the ledge. That's how yeah. big forward air is. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have that smash run and you just fast fall like Nico did there. So so good. Yeah. I don't think it was a two frame because it looked like he went a little bit higher, like a, kind of like a mango angle. Yeah. And then it didn't quite uh, reach the ledge yet. So. That's what it looks like to me. But here we go. Trying to beat him out in air to air. He's got a good position here. Ah, but sometimes it's just difficult to react to that, especially with speed art. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, it just covers so much area too, right? So yeah. if you just so happen to throw out a hitbox at the same time, probably not going to win. Yeah. But he hasn't taken too much damage yet. He survived the buster art. In fact, going to take that stock there from Nico. Kind of drifting a little too high there, maybe looking for a air reversal for some big damage. Yeah. Larry can get something started while the Buster Art is out now with some damage, but the up B says no. Uh, yeah, he's he's getting he's getting the combo starter, but he gets a trade, so he doesn't he isn't able to continue afterwards. So that's a little bit unfortunate. It's the parry, but the wolf dash attack, not as quick as some someone like Fox. So you gotta be uh Oh man, all the up airs in the world. But Nico finally gets the reversal he needs and turns it around with the forward air. Complete that stock. Yeah, the, the name of this game has just been trades. All of the trades have been fa favored for Nico, either because it stops a combo or just takes the stock outright. So that's just unfortunate for Larry. But that's just how it is when you're a melee character and you're fighting the sword, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And really good stuff from Larry there. I like how he tried to laser the uh, the side B. It's so disjointed, but you can just beat it out with a projectile. The Wolf Blaster is transcendent. But here comes Nico with the arts online here. Has full center stage control ever since he spawned in. But Larry gets something started, but he drops the combo. 
Okay, that time decides to continue on. I think he recognized that he didn't have shield art available. Yeah, and the buster art was on too. Yeah, so he so got a big one out of that. Nico took a hefty amount, and wow, Wolf dash attack, man. Taking anti air, might be able to save world hunger. <laughs> it was so broken. Oh, you can tell Nico's trying to not swing yeah. first. He's gonna try to beat him out in like a. Really? Oh, okay. Wow, wow, really that's solid stuff from Nico. All right. And and you saw how much like on the right side there, Larry was respecting Nico in terms.